Well, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under, and I moved once again for the third time uh, to record a video on Oroville and also on the uh, expanding catastrophe uh, in the rest of uh, the Midwest. Uh, so there's been uh, a few uh, developments. Um, the water is rising, I think, to just short of 894 um feet and also uh compromises to the spillway have been identified i'm not in a position to uh to say you know what's true and what's not but i'm going to uh just put this out there and i just want to give a little bit of extra um uh context to this to those that want to listen of course Orville Dam is in trouble. The spillway is totally compromised. There are pictures all over the net that show the spillway has major cracks, water flowing, seeping. It's not usable. It's not repairable. But just when you think you've heard the worst news, it goes from bad to worse. The lakes, Orville Lake, is now at capacity. The lakes upstream are at or nearing capacity. This will form a cumulative effect, and eventually the dam that's now nine feet from overtopping will do exactly that. And when an earthen dam overtops, it begins to crumble and break. I don't have a time. Perhaps they can pull another rabbit out of the hat, and such as when they ran the water through the power plant and opened up the gates. But I don't know how many rabbits they can keep pulling out because this dam is compromised. In my humble opinion, and in the opinion of the experts I talk to, it's not a matter of if this dam is going to break, it's when. I know some of you have to go to work tomorrow. Or go Most of the reactions to the uh, just over 3,000 views uh, on my initial video have been uh, quite positive, but there's been uh, a share of uh, kind of critics and, and trolls, and this neb the web i would say falls into this latter uh category uh, this is what he wrote in his comments a day ago this was uploaded more than a week ago some conspiracists had the da dam failing on may the 12th well i don't re recall anyone say that it was going to fail on um on um may the 12th or any other date uh, no one's given a date uh, and who are the conspiracists? I mean, people like Bob B, the uh, uh, 
uh, one of America's top uh, engineers. Is he a conspiracist theory? He was warning about the dam. Oops, didn't happen. So what now? More guessing and speculating. There is nothing wrong with the dam or the two brand new spillways. Oh, well, yeah, you know better than anyone else, don't you? Neb the web. Got it? Good. Now they will use the spillway if necessary, but right now it is not necessary. Hmm. At uh, all the lakes at, at, at absolutely full to brimming and Oroville at eight, just short of 894 uh, feet, uh, not necessary? Hmm. In order to understand this, you must first know how the Oroville Dam operates. There are two modes at which the Oroville operates. First of all is flood control from November until April. So that means, does it, uh, that um, uh, the flood season just miraculously ends um, on the at the beginning of May? Uh, well, I beg to differ, and I think uh, uh, yeah, the facts beg to differ as well. During that time is when they would release the water down on the spillway, and that's exactly what they did on. The, April the 7th and April the 7th to make room for the current wet spell and runoff. Uh, the, fill, the spillway did not fly apart. Uh, I bet a lot of conspiracists were disappointed. Had they not run the spillway in April, the lake would be overflowing right now, but it isn't. It works just fine. And then he provides this uh, evidence from before. Well, all I can say uh, is uh, that was then and uh, that this is now. Uh, so let's just have a look at the little the, the footage that he puts as evidence. Well, to be sure, I haven't seen anyone address this uh, directly, but the reality is, and you just go, you just need to look at the data that the uh, uh, the lake levels are at present are just short of eight hundred and ninety four feet, and it runs over at nine hundred feet, uh, so we're within uh, six feet of a problem. And then he goes on to say, OK, now the second mode of operation at Oroville is to conserve water. That's why they call it a reservoir. So he's just treating us like idiots, uh, meaning that from May to October, they store as much so that Californians can fill their swimming pools and water their lawns or whatever they do with it. So what he's assuming is uh, everything is, is, is normal. We're within a normal uh, season. Uh, you know, May to October, um, uh, so all the flooding comes in April and before. Uh, but that's not happened this year. Have you, have you not noticed? Record uh, snowpack, all the lakes, every damn single one of them, the ones that feed directly into Oroville, they're all, they're all full. So what are you talking about conserving, conserving water? That's, that's nonsense. Uh, so that's what they're doing now, storing water for the upcoming summer dry months. Californians should be thankful that they're not facing conditions like that. That was only five years ago. Well, the conditions that they're facing are the ones that they're facing right now. And it's not a conspiracy level. Uh, con it's not a conspiracy theory uh, that the dam is in trouble. This comes from one of the uh, the country's top engineers and there's a lot of stuff uh, that's come out since uh, to back that up and that's sort of official that's not from conspiracy theorists. I can still remember uh, from my teenage years uh, about the only disaster movie I've ever seen and it's staged indelibly in my consciousness uh, the Poseidon adventure and uh, 
I think that you can get the message uh, from this next clip after the uh, Poseidon um, is turned upside down by a, um, a tsunami and the majority of people ignore the hero's uh, admonition to get out and there's only a very small number that remain um, and the rest perish. I think there's a it's fiction but fiction can be stranger than truth and there's a lesson to be uh, had in this. Concerned over lake levels, DWR has no immediate plans for spillway releases. Uh, this is there are more concerns over lake levels in Oroville as Butte County leaders take initiative to explore alternative options for safety measures. The Department of Water Resources, a leg of the state water project, manages the Oroville Dam, etc. Blah blah blah. I'm very concerned about the lake levels, District One. Supervisor Bill Connolly uh, said Tuesday during the Board of Supervisors meeting Lake Oroville is being run in an antiquated and linear manner. DWR's priority seems to be water delivery instead of public safety. We need to move into the next century. Climate change is real here. and We've had a warm rain on snow before and we've had warm rain on snow right now. It would be one of the worst disasters in the history of the state and then he he goes on from there so there goes your normality and there's nothing wrong and then uh, northern california reservoirs approach capacity with more rain and snow in the forecast and at the beginning of may northern california reservoirs were already sitting at historic levels then came the unexpected stormy weather that saw historic rain in the valley and almost two feet of snow in the mountains. Now, as the major lakes in Northern California approach capacity, the question remains, where will all this water go? As of May the 22nd, the four major Californian reservoirs sit at or above 95% capacity, a sharp rise of 4% in just two weeks. And then they've got the, uh, the statistics here. So all the uh, lakes, from Lake Shasta to, uh, they're all, they're all full, they're all at capacity. So here we are, Shasta 97% capacity, Trinity Lake 97% capacity, Lake Oroville 96% capacity, Folsom Lake 95% capacity, and they don't even mention the all important uh, 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 lake, oh god I've forgotten its name at the moment, um, uh, that feeds into Oroville uh, without any dams in the meantime to hold it back. So anyway, there are these articles and I'll leave the uh, links uh, down below. So there goes your normal kind of, uh, you know, between, you know during, during the winter months and then from May, everything is all right. It's all bullshit and it's uh, ignoring the evidence, not just from so-called conspiracy theorists, but uh, uh, from those experts who are willing to speak out. Well, that's me for now, um, giving some up-to-date information which you may choose to accept or not to accept at your own uh, peril. Um, I'll leave it at that. This is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.